This training aid will help you to familiarise yourself with a lightweight compass and a protractor. The lightweight compass is used throughout the military and is standard issue within the Royal Marines. The compass is mounted onto a rectangular clear plastic plate. The plastic plate or base of the compass is engraved with various features. These include the direction of travel arrow, a magnifying glass, map measuring scales and a selection of roamers for plotting positions onto a map. The compass itself is cylindrical, filled with liquid which supports the compass needle on a central pivot, with the red end of the needle always pointing to north. The outer circle, or bezel, has a graduated scale at 50mm intervals, with an index line in order to identify bearings. The inside of a circle has four orientating lines and an arrow called the declination arrow and a scale marked out in degrees. The compass can be used at night as it has four illuminating features. On the needle pointing to north, on the bezel highlighting the bearing on the declination arrow and points highlighting the direction of travel. Now let us look at the protractor. A protractor is used for plotting and measuring bearings on a map. This video aid will look at the Royal Artillery Protractor. The curved edge of the protractor is graduated with two sets of figures. The outer set runs from 0 to 3200 mils and the inner from 3200 to 6400 mils, both marked at 10 mil intervals. On the baseline of the protractor there is a 1 to 50,000 scale that can be used to measure distance on a map. Parallel to the baseline is the zero line with a different scale upon it. Halfway along the zero line you will find a hole which is known as a centre point. A piece of string should be threaded through the centre point which can be used when measuring bearings. Similar to the lightweight compass the protractor also has a number of different roamers on it. Roamers provide a means of identifying the last digits of a grid reference and each Roma is labelled by a map scale and it is essential to use the correct Roma with the corresponding map.